Uh, what do you want to start talking about? All right, should we should we start talking about us? Are you recording? I am. All right, cool. Um, let's see. I'm a cancer, uh, four and a half inches hard. Uh, I weigh in at two eighty, uh, six foot one, brown eyes. Um, I think that sums up my whole life. <laughs> uh, I might cut that out. Oh, come on. Give the people what they want to hear. That's what the viewers want to know. I don't think they did. <laughs> some of it was true. Some of it was a lie. I'll leave it to you guys to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I'm Cole, and the other guy's Josh. That's me. We have known each other since we were about five five or six years old we yeah. we yeah. grew up kind of near each other um close enough where we went to the same school we went to the same school our whole yeah our whole life basically yeah our we whole life the there's never schools. any point we didn't yeah and um we had a couple other friends that we've known uh, since about that that time, um, one of them came a little later, but we we still we're all in contact with each other. Still, we all still live in the same town, fairly small town in Minnesota. Yeah, um, southeastern Minnesota. Don't get too specific, Josh. Jesus fucking Christ! Um, I, People I don't are gonna know be what banging down our doors. Yeah, no one's gonna look this up, Cole. They're, they're they're like they're like Minnesota. Where the fuck's that? And I'll be like. It's uh west of California. <laughs> That's not even right. I mean, eventually, I, I guess if you go around the fucking planet, you're you'll get there. Yeah, if you just keep heading west, we're we're the North Beach. That's what I like to say. <laughs> the... That's that's pretty stupid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miami ain't got shit on us. All right. Yeah, I don't, uh, well. Y'all got to see these northern hoes. They're thick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they eat a lot of lefsa, uh, a lot of fast food. <laughs> uh, a lot of hot dish. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What else? Uh, me me and Cole. How old are we, Cole? I'm... I'm I'm 23. I'm still uh, 23. Yeah, we're both we're hip we're both hip and jiving with the kids, as they say. Uh, I'm not. No, you're not jiving with the kids. You've no, been I'm jiving not. against the kids. Yeah. There's actually three police reports on that. Quit uh, jiving against the kids, Cole. That part's not true. <laughs> no, it's two. But you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do we want to tell them what we what we do for a living, Cole? Besides, you know, um, make millions at YouTube and not really. <laughs> fuck it, I'll tell them. I'll tell them, Cole. Fuck, fuck you. So I'm. I don't think I you am should, a, though, because I mean, what, you, you what don't want people do? to track you down. They're not going to track me down, Cole. They'll be able right. to figure out exactly who you are if you tell them. So yeah, I'll keep it generic. I'll keep it generic. So I, 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 I am a farmer. And, uh, what the, did my computer shut off? You, you cut off oh, for a no, second. The, the screen just went black. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So I am a farmer. Uh, I have cows and I have corn and I have beans. That about sums it up. But I come from a long, long line of farmers. Uh, I also have a full-time job besides. Uh, I, I used to drive truck. Uh, I don't at the moment. Of medical issues. I had a seizure a couple months ago. So that's kind of how we got into the YouTube thing officially. Is I had a lot of free time because I wasn't allowed to go to work at all. This is something we've been, we've been wanting to do for a couple of years. And uh, I just never really had the time. And it, things just didn't work out. And finally I had the time. And I'm like, you know what? Let's fucking do it. 
It's it's been and, uh, longer than two years. It's been I think we've been we've been basically wanting to try this at some point since we were like eighteen years old or nineteen years old. Um, before we even built PCs, we wanted to do it. We knew we had to get the PCs first, but it's been a yeah, long time. Yeah, that's actually pretty true. Yeah. That's, that's actually really true. We've been wanting to do it for a while. And uh, it's enjoyable. I, I like it. It takes time, and i got a busy schedule, so that's why things have been kind of slowing down a little lately now because I, I finally got to go back to working. I'm not driving truck anymore, but I at least get to go to work. <laughs> Cool. He he's a worker too. He has a full he has a full time job too. Besides, uh, yeah. My hope yeah. my hope someday. Well, go ahead, Cole. Go ahead. What were you gonna say? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Nothing. Well, if you're nothing gonna important. go into deep, you're gonna get deep and be like, oh, my hopes and dreams and stuff. I don't want to interrupt that. Fuck. No, 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 no. You go. You go, okay. baby. Well, fuck you then. Um, well, fuck you too. Yeah, fuck your hopes and dreams. Um, yeah, your hopes and dreams are fucking stupid. Poopy face. <laughs> All right. <laughs> They're stupid like your mom. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so, uh. Um, Nicole. Hey, Nicole, hey, fuck you and your grandma. <laughs> you don't even know my grandma. I've I've delivered near her before, okay? I know her very well. She uh, lives to your left. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, go ahead, Cole. I'm sorry. Um, God, what the fuck was I going to say now? You fucking... <laughs> I had it fucking planned and I fucking forgot what I was going to say because of that bullshit. Were you going to uh, tell him you're five? No. I already told him how old I was. No, I'm uh, at five inches. <laughs> Oh, well, that would be a lie. Now the um, he... <laughs> oh, I fucking wish. <laughs> um, so he's single, ladies, by the way. Yeah, or lady, we don't judge. So I grew up on basically a used to be farm. <laughs> um, my grandparents ran a lot of different businesses. And my grandfather wanted to get into farming, and it never worked out. Um, it just it never took off. But he kept a lot of land, and basically I ended up living next door to them with several other family members living nearby, um, just outside of uh, the small town that we grew up near and went to school in. Um, basically, it... it farmland all around but i didn't really do any of the farming stuff i've uh, been playing video games ever since i was little um that was mostly what i did it was hard to to get around and go see friends and stuff so i played a lot of video games um but we got into a lot of other activities later played baseball and and shit when i was little um, yeah, and then we got in, yeah we got into ffa when we were older in high school um worked on a farm for a, a long time, about five years, I, I've only I only ever had farm jobs up until a couple of years ago. I think now it was about two years ago. Um, worked basically just tossed hay bales and stacked hay bales for a little bit, and then I worked on a sheep farm for a summer, and then I worked on a a dairy farm for five years, basically part time, hoping that the uh, I would get more hours later um, when there was supposed to be an expansion. What ended up turning into the the owner selling the cows. Yeah, so that complete one hundred and eighty. Yeah, <laughs> it was like yeah, it was like yeah, you're gonna have more work than you know you're gonna you're gonna even want. We're gonna have to hire somebody else, and then all of a sudden, you know, after about three years of that, he's like, yeah, I I don't want to do this anymore. So he sold them, and then. I uh, didn't work for quite a while trying to figure out what I wanted to do, and now I basically, I, I found a job that was going to pay decent enough for now until I can really figure out what I want to do if I want to, well, I guess really just find out what I want to do with my life, but I'm basically just a delivery boy inside a, a large uh, 
machine shop. Yeah, he's so. just a lonely little delivery boy. <laughs> I had a lot of time to have started this when I wasn't working, and even when I was, but it was basically the idea is we did we I edited some I edited some videos uh, many years ago, and we never posted them. I just didn't. I wasn't happy with. I, I guess I was kind of happy with them, but overall I just didn't think that they were good enough and that it was sustainable. I didn't want to do it. Um, I just, I looked at it and I said, this is the how long this is taking me and how I want to do this. is just, uh, It's going to be too long and I don't think it's worth the time being put in because of the oversaturated market of YouTubers. Um... But when Josh said, "Like, hey, let's let's get serious. Let's actually do this," um, you know, that's when I changed my mind again. We and did we went head first into the oversaturated pool of YouTubers. Yeah, <laughs> and we well, we tried it. We did try a while ago. I think it was probably like a year and a half ago or so. We actually tried. We but we never even got to set up the channel. Um, because then I think things got really busy for you again, and then it just we're just like, nope, it's not gonna work. So, but it, it yeah, that, we're doing that it was probably the biggest thing holding us back is probably me, honestly. <laughs> I could have done a lot of the stuff. I just I didn't have the motivation to do it because I said like this is taking a good amount of time and then now it's not so bad i learned a bit more and it's not taking me long to do the minimal amount of editing that i do um but it's it was i kind of just told myself it wasn't worth trying because of it's not going to go anywhere but at this point in time it's i kind of just told myself like we we really should try it we got to try it at least try to do it for a year maybe two years or something and see if it goes somewhere, but we gotta at least try this, and at least live the lifestyle to some extent, you know? Yeah, and I'm gonna apologize right now, because you guys will probably hear the dog barking in the background at the moment. Yeah, you should go smack uh, him. I should. Uh, I, I should send you a picture to put in this, a little picture of him, so you can all see him. Right now, right now, that's my, my, my basset hound champ. He's yeah. barking. He doesn't he doesn't want to go outside at the moment and they're they're trying to put him outside. <laughs> I'll even I'll send you a picture with Champ and Duke. You guys can see my border collie Duke too. Let's get to you see the dog. He's, they're gonna smash the like button. Oh yeah. Comment what dog you guys all have. Yeah. By the way. I, I have see no your dogs. doggies too. Fill the yeah. comments with doggies. Yeah. You're you dude, okay. You you technically don't own any dogs, but there are dogs in your house. Yeah, I still live with my mom. Um, and my sister's got dogs, and basically they moved out, but the dogs are still here. <laughs> so there's three dogs. We got three cats. Um, I don't want any animals of my of my own, just because I don't like the I don't like the maintenance. I don't like the cost. I get attached to animals, so I don't want any of my own. But. <laughs> That's some of the stupidest reasons I've ever heard. I don't want... <laughs> the cost thing is fucking realistic as shit. Jesus. My mom, the, my one sister's dog, is having so many problems that she's taking him in like twice a week to get his shoulder fixed so he can run normal. So he doesn't basically go become crippled when he's older. I mean, that's that's ridiculous. That's why I don't pay money for dogs. You gotta get the free dogs. The free dogs are the best dogs. Yeah. And then when they get sick, you just let them die. <laughs> not every time, you know. <laughs> Jesus, I'm not that bad, you ass. Yeah, no. By the way, we're not actually that bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're not, no, we're not no. serious. <laughs> <laughs> this is the animals. We love them a lot. <laughs> yeah. the, the whole... uh the whole letting them die, that's only when it's like, yeah, there's no point. <laughs> that's that's like, when they got cancer or yeah, something. And yeah. then we don't just let them die. We let, we put them to sleep. Yeah. I mean, I'm white trash, but I ain't going to go out back and shoot my fucking dog in the head. Yeah. Mostly because we don't own any guns in my house, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I 
think uh, that what mostly else? that mostly sums it up. I think I don't want to. I don't think we should make the video too long. God, you 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 went all in depth about everything you did. And I'm like, yeah, I farm and I drive truck, bitches. Well, why I'm didn't you go more go into my life story. I'm gonna go more in depth. All right. I was just waiting for the right moment, and I've decided now is the right moment to go more in depth. Because they've obviously made it this far, they're going to be like, "Okay, what about Josh?" Though we heard about Cole. Can, can you fucking can you go? Can you do it now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like being pressured. <laughs> oh god damn it! Okay, so it was 1997. It was a beautiful sunny day when my mother went into labor. <laughs> Josh, shut the fucking. Okay, hurry up. all right. Me and Cole have done everything together for most of our lives. Uh, like Cole said, we were in FFA together. We were on the officer team. Uh, we, what else? Okay, so then after I graduated high school, I worked with my dad because he has a full-time job too. Uh, down on the river, loading, down on the Mississippi River, loading barges. Uh, that sucked. I had to crawl underneath semi-trailers and pound on them with a fucking hammer for 10 hours a day. But... It was a job. Uh, then after that, I worked as a security guard for a couple years, which was boring and hell and didn't pay worth the shit, but again, it was a job. And then I became a delivery truck driver, got my Class A CDL and became a truck driver because I like, I, I, I didn't need a Class A, but I got it because I like, I like semi trucks a lot. I like driving them. Uh, and I did that for a couple of years and up until I had a, I had a seizure at the end of November and I uh, got my license and everything taken away. So I dislocated my shoulder. So I had to go to physical therapy and all that good stuff to get that fixed. And that's officially when I was like, cool, I got time. Let's do this. And so I think. I don't know where I want to where I want to go with this channel, but uh, I kind of enjoy playing the the survival games and whatnot. Maybe maybe at some point in the future we'll throw like a Call of Duty game in there or something like that, just to kind of change it up. So it ain't all the same stuff over and over, don't you think, Cole? Yeah, well, we should really try to start jumping on trains of popular games coming out because that's probably how we can grow more uh, quickly. You are. You are probably right. The problem oh, is, is that, also, yeah, they we're lazy. I'm, but, yeah, and cheap. I'm really cheap. Yeah, that, Josh that is, is a big super downfall. cheap. Josh does not want to buy a new game. He's I that's can't. That's sixty bucks, dude. Yeah, I know, and I can't. That's nuts. I can't believe how you get hung up on that so much. <laughs> when you could easily put like hundreds of hours into some of these games, but well. I dude, I budget everything. Like my computer, we we uh, I looked at stuff for oh, well over a year on what I was gonna do and when I was gonna do it. You also had and a it, shitload of time at that point, though. Yeah, I did. I did. I definitely did. Uh, but as I was gonna say, is I am. I also live at home with my parents. I'm an only child. I don't. I don't have no brothers or sisters or nothing. So it ain't really that bad living at home yet. Uh, I'm engaged. My fiance, on the other hand, does not like living at home. Dean, you didn't just realize I brought you a gallon of chocolate milk yesterday. No. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can cut that out if you want. That might actually be funny to leave in. <laughs> Well, you gotta live at home, though, Josh, because you want you want to be a farmer one day, a full time farmer one day. So there's not really a point in leaving. No, I agree with that because I really don't want it to feel like I'm going to work when I come home. From work. Yeah. It's already enough having to go to work. <laughs> I actually enjoy what I do besides the working. <laughs> so that, that's the hope. If I found a place close around here, I'd I'd consider it, but. Uh, at the same time, uh, my fiance goes to college, and she's uh, p probably about a hundred miles away. So, I, I got I got until September before we get married, and before she really starts, you know, Bitchy. getting on my ass to get. Well, that's yes. <laughs> so, 
I think that sums up our, our whole video call, don't you? Yeah. I don't know if anybody's going to care to watch this. They probably won't, I'm assuming. Yeah. But, you know, to those of you who do watch it, uh, we're glad you're part of the handies. Um, Jesus Christ. We're not doing that. <laughs> they what, need a group name. That's not That's not it, though. We're going to call our that's audience not, the handies. Why no, can't no, we call them the handies? Because I don't, I don't want you to. <laughs> okay, handies. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> do do you not like the fact that I shortened it? Would you prefer that they called themselves the hand jobs? I don't know. The I hand don't. jobbers? Nope. The hand jobberoonies? That's funny, the but hand... no. <laughs> it's too long anyways. Oh, what what should Are you there, Josh? Yeah, I'm here. Are you there? Yeah, I just, I, you just cut out. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think it might be uh, time to end it. <laughs> yep, you're probably right. Okay, handies, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Uh, now we thought we should put this video out because you know, figured people would actually like to be able to connect with us on a personal level at some point in life, and not just you know, assume be like, oh, who are those sexy guys playing this game? You know, I didn't want, I didn't want people to be misled. Uh, because the part where I said I'm six one and two eighty, that was the truth earlier. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, uh, remember to like, subscribe, comment, the whole nine yards. Yeah, do do yeah. all that. Please, we're desperate. Yeah, please help us. Bye. <laughs>